with ISRO's current string of successes. It is rapidly emerging as a major global player in space programs. To further augment its capabilities, Space Application Center is setting up an advanced facility for testing and qualification of space hardware at Ahmedabad. A large thermal vacuum chamber, Comnavac, at the new campus at Bhopal, Ahmedabad is being established. Comnavac will carry out thermal vacuum performance tests on the payloads of satellite to validate their performance and space worthiness in a simulated thermal vacuum environment. Technical specifications of this chamber are drafted in such a way as to provide maximum flexibility in operation as well as most efficient thermal performance. Very few companies in the world could offer equipment meeting such specifications. The size of the chamber was just one challenge as construction of such sophisticated chamber with 6.5 meter internal diameter had to be done in the shop and transported to the site in finished condition. Abzil Telstar Technologies SLU Spain, a leading space simulation systems provider and Inox CVA Vadodra, a leading cryogenic equipment manufacturer came together to offer a unique solution to ISRO and proposed implementation of this project in a time-bound manner. The overall time schedule of the project from concept to commissioning was just 28 months. The chamber had to be fabricated as one complete unit and tested for its vacuum tightness in the shop before moving to the site. In order to achieve the required thermal performance, the entire internal surface of the chamber exposed to shroud had to be polished with emissivity of less than 0.1. Thick stainless steel plates were used for construction of the chamber and had to undergo pre-polishing by sophisticated special purpose machine. The entire process of pre-polishing took about 4 months. Vessel design has to withstand full vacuum with required rigidity while accommodating several ports which are cut out from the main chamber. Polished stainless steel had to be formed in mammoth dish ends by joining few plates together and utilizing the cold spinning process to get required shape. Forming operation was successfully completed at Ankleshwar where special purpose tooling was used with leather covers to avoid impression on the finished steel plates. The chamber also has large flanges with 70 mm thick stainless steel plates that were formed in rings to act as main chamber flanges. Leak tightness of main flange is critical for reliable operation of the chamber. Critical large diameter machining was done in Ahmedabad. Machining feasibility was first established on mock-up pieces prior to undertaking the main job. Machining of these rings had to be done twice, once before fabrication and once after welding to the dish end and shell structure. Entire process took about six months. For forming the chamber shell, Special arrangement was made to hold large diameter plates while rolling in the shop. The shell also required several nozzles at precise locations for which large CNC programmed plasma cutting machine were used to make partial cuts on the plate prior to rolling. The partial openings allowed the rolling process without deformation. These openings were finally cut with precision after formation of the entire chamber for fixing of the nozzles. After assembly of chamber, leak detection, vacuum testing as well as preparing for transporting the chamber to the site are crucial operations. Transporting the chamber inside Ahmedabad city is another critical operation. Careful road survey was carried out to establish most suitable route before the chamber moves to the final destination. 
Installation of the chamber also requires unique handling arrangement. The scheme includes lifting the chamber on rails and positioning it at the right location. Other than the chamber, several other subsystems with unique specification had to be realized. Thermal shroud has been manufactured in Europe and has undergone leak test successfully. The shroud segments would be assembled on hard points located inside the chamber. About 18 thermal conditioning units produced at Telstar shop will operate together to circulate dense nitrogen gas and achieve the required temperature for thermal cycling as programmed by the system. Auxiliary subsystem requires about 400 cubic meter of liquid storage made up of three tanks of 130 cubic meter and one tank of 36 cubic meter. Almost three kilometer of vacuum jacketed piping of various shapes and sizes is being manufactured in the shop for integration at site. The project is at a stage where most of the manufacturing challenges are accomplished and is now entering integration phase at the site. All along the execution of this project, there has been a thorough involvement of all partners. The leadership shown by ISRO team in conceiving and guiding the progress has helped a great deal in timely execution of this project. 